Fibroids affect 70 to 80% of women and are symptomatic or problematic in about 30 to 40% of these women. Fibroids being a cause of infertility is small and not well recognized, but certainly can affect a woman's quality of life. Fibroids are benign tumors that could be found in any of the three layers of the uterus. There's the inner layer where implantation occurs for embryos, there's the muscle layer, which is the middle layer, and the outer layer, which is the skin of the uterus. Fibroids can arise from any of these three layers. When they're in the inner layer, that's when we're most concerned for its effect on infertility because it can be cause miscarriages or pregnancy loss. When it's in the muscle layer and it's large, so greater than four or five centimeters, it can push into the inner layer and distort the cavity where the implantation is supposed to occur and also cause fertility issues. The other issue with fibroids is heavy bleeding. And this heavy bleeding can certainly affect your menstrual period and bleeding certainly prevents you from getting pregnant as well. We don't know why fibroids occur in some women and not others, but there is a family history component. So if you have a mom or an aunt with fibroids, you are more likely to have fibroids. Fibroids are also more likely to be present in women of African descent, but we are not sure why they occur in some women more than others. So the symptoms associated with fibroids include bulk symptoms, meaning a fibroid is so big you can feel it through your belly and it's causing pain and discomfort. It can cause heavy menstrual bleeding where you're soaking through pads and tampons. Fibroids are also a common cause of pelvic pain. It can also cause urinary symptoms when the fibroid is pushing up on the bladder or constipation or bowel symptoms if it's pushed up on the bowels. Not all fibroids can cause a problem and not all fibroids based on their location can be a cause of infertility. If it's in the outer layer of the uterus or in the muscle layer and it's small, then it's not contributing to your infertility. If it's been identified that your fibroid is contributing to your ability to conceive successfully, it needs to be removed surgically. One surgical option is a hysteroscopy, which is a camera and instrument that can be placed vaginally directly inside the, layer, the inner layer of your cavity and the fibroids would be removed that way. The other way is laparoscopically or robotically if you have a fibroid that is in the muscle layer that's compressing into your inner cavity where implantation is supposed to take place. Those fibroids can be removed laparoscopically and robotically in a minimally invasive method. After the resection of a fibroid from the muscle of the uterus, the intramural fibroid, there needs to be some recovery time, somewhere around three to six months based on the location of the fibroid and its depth and proximity to the endometrial cavity. After a laparoscopic, robotic, or even an open myomectomy, the three to six month wait prior to conception is in order to prevent a pregnancy-related complication like uterine rupture. So these women mostly have to have a C-section for their delivery and not go into labor so that they don't have you know, a rupture at the incision line where the fibroid was removed.